Well, the school district of Philadelphia will soon be under new leadership. After a decade, Dr. William Height will be stepping away from his role as superintendent. We caught up with him for an exclusive conversation about the legacy he'll be leaving behind. Hello, everyone. It's not unusual for Superintendent Dr. William Height to pop into a classroom. Say the word again. Oh. On this day, he's visiting students and staff at Kirkbride Elementary in South Philadelphia. And that's where we caught up with him for a one on one conversation as his time with the school district is winding down. The last day is right as the school year ends, right. and so we'll be here through the middle of June. After a decade at the helm of the fourth largest public school district in the country, Dr. Height will leave at the end of this school year. He touts many accomplishments since the first day he entered a school district riddled with challenges. We have more children reading on grade level. We have more children doing math. We have more children graduating. We have a balanced budget. That's something that was unheard of when I arrived. In fact, we were facing a $1.5 billion revenue shortfall. Height has also overseen the addition of three new schools and broken ground on a fourth. Despite those positives, the ongoing pandemic has continued to take a toll on students and educators. The Omicron surge forced a temporary pause of as many as 91 schools in January. Dr. Height has had to navigate the unpredictable health crisis while trying to keep schools safe and open. It was really important for us to keep children in school if we could and if we could do that safely. We have been testing on a, on a weekly basis and their case counts have remained below 1%. And I'm happy to report that all schools are back to in person and they're staffed. And so we, we hope, knock on wood, that the, the worst is behind us. Not only has the school district been dealing with the pandemic, but the epidemic of gun violence in the city has taken a devastating toll on many students. Last year, the city saw more than 520 homicides. A staggering number of those victims were school-aged children between 13 to 17 years old. Schools have increased their counseling staff to deal with these tragedies. Hundreds now working within school communities. The new superintendent will likely inherit what's already been a violent start to this year. Dr. Height says getting into the community, getting to know the students and the dynamic of their lives is vital. Get to know our young people. You only have to talk to one to know what they're capable of if given access to the opportunities. Well, we do continue our conversation with Dr. Hyde coming up at 4.30. He talks to us about how he hopes the school district will continue to evolve in the future and what advice he has for the new superintendent.